Hi everyone, it's Raven with Expressive Tarot. I have a brand new pick a card weekly tarot reading for you today. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do weekly pick a card readings and I do tarot deck reviews. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you get an alert every time I post a new video. So I'm averaging about two videos a week. So a lot of information, a lot of fun stuff to watch. And today I'm super excited because I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot for the first time. And I really love the pictures. I love the illustrations. So let's give it a whirl and see if the card that you pick resonates with you. So for card one, we have a sage bundle. For card two, we have a rock that I collected from the beach. And for card three, we have a seashell. So what I want you to do is close your eyes, center yourself, think about the following question. What does the universe want me to know going into this week? If you need to pause the video, you can do so. I've timestamped the video in the description so you could just take a peek and then skip ahead to your exact reading and then meet up with me at the end. Um, also, I'm loving all the comments that people are posting. I love hearing about what card you picked and if it rang true for you in the week. So don't forget to comment below and let me know how your week went. And I will see you at your reading. Okay, let's see what card one has to say about your week. You got the Ten of Wands. So this card is talking about any burdens that you may have, um, if you're taking on a large workload or if you're taking on a lot of emotional burdens or someone else's burdens, if you're the kind of person who's a great listener, so all of your friends just want to dump their problems on you, then that also could be what this card is referring to. Or if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to accept help from others, and you just carry the weight of like a whole project on your own, then that could be what this card is referring to. Or if you just really just are working so hard, you're doing so much for everyone else and no one else is helping you, whether or not you're just not asking for help or you're asking and no one's providing you help. Either way, this card is acknowledging the fact that you're just carrying a heavy weight, a heavy workload, a heavy burden, and really, it's just not fair. So maybe this is the week that you say, okay, enough is enough, I'm done, I cannot do this all on my own, it's not right, you know, someone has to help me out here. So you see on the card, there's 10 rods and they're just all over the place, scattered all around. You need help picking them up. You shouldn't have to be the one to go around and pick up all those those wands. It's not right. So you just have to say, listen, can you help me? I need some help here. And just really advocate for yourself. And if people are willing to help you, then this card is saying it's okay to accept that help. You can't expect to do everything on your own all the time. Okay, sometimes you're carrying all those sticks on your back and it's just going to break your back. And then what use will you be to anybody? <laughs> no, but seriously, you just cannot go on this way. You cannot. You need to either put the sticks down and rest for a bit, or you need to ask someone to help you pick them up and carry them, basically. Because whatever it is that you're giving 110% of yourself towards is really just sucking the life out of you. Whether it's a project at work, 
whether it's a relationship, whether it's some commitment that you have, whether it's taking care of someone or a group of people, whatever it is, you can no longer keep going on the way that you're going on. You're going to break. Because you'll end up feeling burned out and just not good. So whether it's just one thing that's kind of gotten out of control, whether it's one thing you're just so used to just doing that you're just doing it on autopilot, um, this card is saying that you really just need to rethink your method. You need to rethink the fact if you're going around doing more for other people than they are doing for you, that's not good. And if you're helping people who seem completely ungrateful for your help, then you're just going to build up resentment and you're just going to just get frustrated at other people's laziness and their incompetence. And so this card is also telling you that you need to address this situation to yourself. Um, and I don't mean to make light of the situation. I know it is a lot harder then I'm making it sound um, because maybe you just are used to taking on a disproportionate amount of responsibility and maybe you've just been like this for a long, long time. Maybe it's just how you cope. Maybe it's just how you think you're going to get stuff done. Like you think, oh, if I don't do it, no one's going to do it and it won't get done. And while that may be correct, you need to figure out a way to voice your feelings to the people around you so that they're aware of what's going on. They're aware of how you feel, how you're starting to feel burnt out because maybe they don't know. Or unfortunately, perhaps you are surrounded by manipulative people who know exactly how you feel and are just using that side of you because they know you'll just get the job done. Either way, you are the only one who can make this situation better. The 10 always symbolizes an end of a cycle. So this way of living, this method of thinking, you're coming to an end of it. You've had enough. You realize that enough is enough. And so it's time to break that pattern and begin a new chapter in your life trying to figure out how to make better boundaries and to increase self-care. Like when you need to take a break, take a break. You need to just relax and de-stress, then go ahead and do that. It also could be a case that you just very innocently just took on a little bit more than you can handle and now you've currently hit your breaking point. You know, it happens. But this card is trying to make you more aware that it has happened so you can focus on how to make it stop happening. I guess the good news is that whatever it is that you are breaking your back trying to accomplish, you really are like right there. You're almost done. And that's why you're getting so tired of carrying all 10 sticks. Just You've just been doing it all along all alone and it is it, it's almost done and you're almost about to hit that goal and achieve more than you thought you could achieve but just know that when this whatever this is project taking care of someone is officially over you need to just give yourself a rest you need to just relax and make sure in the future you don't put yourself in this situation again where you're the one doing the majority of the work. So even though you are almost done with this project and you've done so, so much on your own, the last teeny tiny bit that's left, you're going to need help. Just if nothing else, then for your mental health and just for your sanity, you have to find a way to make the end of this cycle, the end of this workload, a little bit more manageable. And it doesn't matter if you think the end is in sight 
or if you don't see an end in sight. This card is saying that the end is in sight. You are almost done, okay? Literally, you're like right there at the end. You're just gonna have to get someone to help you with that final push. You can do it. With a little help from your friends. So let me know how your week goes. Let me know if this card actually helped you in any way. And I will see you next week for another pick a card reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, now let's see what card two has to say about your week. You got the Seven of Cups. This is a card that brings the message saying things are not always as they appear to be. Something in your life is turning out to be something of like an illusion. It could mean that you're not really looking at things the way that they are, you're looking at things the way that you want them to be or the way that you imagine that they could or should be. Um, like, you know, being optimistic is one thing, but being delusional is a very different thing. So practice looking at things with a clear eye, you know, in a grounded way. Take a look at situations in your life from a more realistic perspective. Um, this card could also hint at the fact that you're more of a dreamer and less of a doer. So if you have all these fantastic, crazy ideas of projects you want to start, um, magical relationships you want to find, that awesome, perfect job that you want to find, Dreaming and thinking about it is great, but if you don't actually put the work towards starting it or looking for it, attaining it, or towards accomplishing your goal, then you're just spending all your time wishing and dreaming for something that's not really going to come because you haven't put the time and the work into it. So dreaming about something is a lot of fun because it takes the planning out of it, it takes the application out of it, and in your mind, in your head, you're just focusing on the end result, the amazing finish line, all those warm feelings of accomplishment without any of the hard work, without any of it actually happen, happening. And that's why this card is the true illusion card. You have to really try not to live in that fantasy, try not to live in that illusionary world, and really start taking steps towards manifesting your goals and really making the things happen that you want to happen. So it's all about starting, it's all about following through with starting. So really think about what you're dreaming for, all those fantastical, magical ideas that you have. Think about really what's holding you back. Is it fear? Is it procrastination? Um, this card really kind of is an ultimatum. It's saying either, you know, get up and start working towards your goal, you know, make the first steps towards attaining something that you want in your life, or just kind of sit and continue to live in that kind of fantasy world and let life just continue to pass you by. Which nobody really wants that. So really start to write down a plan, make a plan on how to really put your dreams and your goals into action. So maybe it'll help if you try to make a list of all the real things that you feel are holding you back from, you know, working towards your goal. And think about what's blocking you and why does it have such a heavy influence on you. Um, if you're blaming external factors for your inability to move forward, 
then you're still under the spell of the seven cups and so real reasons might be hard to look at but you really have to let yourself feel those real feelings dive deep into really why you're being held back and why you're choosing to live in this illusionary fantasy world so dig up a little self-confidence you know don't be afraid to step out of that illusion and into reality you can do it you can accomplish your goals the first step is always the hardest step but with a little hard work determination support and a plan you can make your dreams a reality and all those magical things that you've been thinking of all those great ideas that you have in your head you can do it <sighs> baby steps okay first step is just make a list make a plan and make it happen so let me know in the comments below if this rang true for you and i'll see you next week now it's time to see what card three has to say about your week. You got the two of cups. This is usually a card about love, about romance, about having a really intimate connection with someone. So this card usually means that new love will be heading your way or a rekindling of an old love or current love or it could mean the birth of a dear and lasting friendship either way whether this connection is with a romantic partner or if it's with one of your best friends this connection with you will be honest and it'll be solid and it'll be the kind of relationship where you can both open your hearts up to each other. So this is a really exciting card. It's a reconnection with a friend, a reconnection with a loved one, a new love coming into your life, or a rekindling of the relationship that you currently have. When this card pops up, it usually means that you're very much in love and you have a really positive, nice way of looking at everything. And you're definitely going to have some luck coming your way. This card is just very, very optimistic. So even if you don't have a love, someone that you love in your life, it's very optimistically coming your way. If this card refers to a really awesome love that you had in your recent past and you're just really thinking about that and you're really missing that love relationship that you had and you're thinking, oh man, it's the one that got away. This card is just a reminder that everything does happen for a reason and you definitely learned lessons from that really connected love relationship that you did have. So it wasn't all for nothing. You definitely learned how to love. You learned what you want and needed from a relationship. And you just really learned what you need to truly be happy in a relationship. This card could also refer to a bond that you have with, like I said, a best friend, um, a really close coworker, someone that you work really well together with, a business partner. The type of relationship, no matter what it is, it's going to last a long time. Um, it's really, you're going to meet a person and they're just going to fill your heart with so much joy. So this really is a positive card. It means you either have someone in your life you're closely bonded to, or you'll be meeting someone in your life that you're closely bonded to. So whichever it is, really rely on this person this week to be your support, to go hang out, um, to help you complete any tasks that you need help with. Don't be afraid to ask them. Don't be afraid to spend a lot of time with them because the tarot is saying this is going to be the week 
to really, you know, either meet someone new or spend a lot of time with this really closely connected person. You may need advice from them. They may need advice from you. So really just make sure you're there for each other and everything's going to be a-okay, like two peas in a pod. So if your friend has some advice for you, make sure you really listen to what they're saying. Take it to heart. It's good advice, so says this card. And if you have a friend who you haven't really been spending much time with and you can tell they're really needing you right now, they're really needing advice from you, make sure you allocate some time for them. So basically, spend more time with your friends, spend more time dating, because a new love interest will be coming into your life um, pretty quickly. And if you are in a happy, loving relationship, make sure you spend a lot more time with that person because you are very compatible and you are in a very loving relationship. All right, awesome card. I'll see you next week. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's pick a card tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed the Wild Unknown Tarot. I really like using it. I just really feel connected to the cards already. And um, also, don't forget to subscribe. I am just super excited that I'm at 150 subscribers. I never thought 150 people would want to watch my videos, but here you are. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of tarot pictures on there. I do a daily tarot draw. I also do a weekly pick a card on Instagram as well. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye.